sour spice in it, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly how to explain it, but no. Right. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go in too. Yeah. I'm gonna dig in too. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? When someone asked you, like, who wrote, um, who wrote, um, uh, the Bible and how it's like oh, right, many right. different people. Yeah. And I would say that was like the cool part of it because like it all kind of like sets up and pays off, but it's written by like different people over thousands of years. Mm -hmm. And that's that to me is like brings me more like the fact that it all just makes sense mm -hmm. versus like you know if one person wrote it or whatever it would be a different situation mm -hmm. you know but i think having I, I think maybe some people like that only one person wrote their religion that's great you know what i mean that's mm -hmm. like what but for me it brings me assurance of like it's all these different people able to work together over thousands of years to put one cohesive book mm -hmm. and that is to me what always brought me the most uh, like assurance from that so the fact that actually a lot of people many people wrote it and it all kind of uh people who wrote it like from different times like, yeah. they actually said the same thing and that gave you more assurance that the, there's there must be some truth about this i mean it had, it had to be god breathed it had to be like because mm -hmm. as, as a screenwriter I was, my whole thing was i think was what i was saying to you like my as a screenwriter mm -hmm. like i can really do it for myself mm -hmm. and like i can't and i when we even want to work with like a co-writer it's like such a mess. And I can't imagine working with a co-writer 4,000 years from now mm -hmm. to pay off something that I'm setting up here. Right. Like I can barely do it over a two hour movie with another writer who's like, why are you changing that? This is settable. You gotta, like, someone's gotta explain it. Mm -hmm. But, and I guess it was God explaining it the whole time, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of, it is a lot of faith. It is a lot of faith mm -hmm. that like, you're trusting the people who put it together. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. there are people probably watching this who are like, oh, you know, People putting it together you know blah 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 there's a whole meme right now about like how king james like was put together late okay at a later time you know mm. but there's when you know when i looked into that because that's my whole thing was like oh well the version that we read like nrv like those are even those 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 are using an older base to for their version and so stuff like that of mm. like i see a lot of internet memes of people you know who i think a lot of times when someone posts anti-christian stuff it's kind of like they don't want it to be true because mm -hmm. it being the consequences of it being true mm -hmm. and then not being Christian are so terrifying mm -hmm. that like I totally understand why post everything you want that's negative about it because try to disprove it because I would to bring your own sanity you know mm -hmm. but every time I look into those things I that was my whole year I was like looking into all those things mm -hmm. you know I would come back stronger in terms of like, my belief and so that was in that many different writers being one of them wow um so hmm. yeah yeah that's amazing yeah. Um. did you have like personal uh it seemed like you you prayed to god like you actually wrestled with this this journey as well oh yeah i mean a lot of the solutions just came which I know will sound crazy to people like, like I think when I was telling you about like, mm -hmm. you know, for a long time, those the final section in Mark mm -hmm. being technically, potentially written later. Yeah. And that, that section being the resurrection of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And then that also Mark being, sometimes people say maybe it might've been the main source for the other gospels. Mm -hmm. And so if the, you know, if the section that talks about Jesus coming back is in question, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's a very, that's a hugely disturbing thing, right? Because yeah, I mean, yeah. it makes the other Gospels like, well, if they're using Mark as one of the references, that's going to be like, who are we using, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, but, and it was, it was like through prayer of like figuring out that like, well, it means that all the other stuff that's going on here mm -hmm. um, is true, right? All Like if we can find the two sections in Mark that are like, Hey, this is not what was probably written in the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, and then, but everything else is. And so, they have, if you're, if a lot, you know, a lot of people, which, which they will kind of call out, you know, people who use like the Bible to prove the Bible. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But those sections that we use, like the Bible's using the Bible to prove the Bible's truth. You know, like when I was telling you earlier about like how Paul's, like Paul's letters were written even sooner than the Gospels. Yeah. And how, like, there are people who are still alive mm. in those letters who mm -hmm. he's referencing to, like, hey, like, if you want to prove that Jesus, talk to so-and-so, talk to so-and-so. They're still alive, you know? 
And to know that like he was saying that fact back then and to now know that like had that been added later that was um that would have been not in there you know mm -hmm. Russell was like um so it's cool like that stuff to know that, oh that's always been in there mm -hmm. and those letters were written even before the gospel and so they were walking wow. around a world where paul's talking in a world where people are saying i saw jesus and also paul exists in a world where People are saying, I saw, I saw Jesus come to life after the, after, you know, mm -hmm. death. And so unless, unless there was a mass hallucination, which is what people say, mm -hmm. you know, um, yeah. And then, and, and, you, and, you, and you fold it in with like, of like, there's enough even like atheist historians who are like, there's enough evidence that Jesus was around. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, so now that we have even atheist historians saying, okay, that definitely was a guy named Jesus walking around doing stuff. Right. So we have that fact for yes. sure, right? Mm -hmm. So we know this fact pretty strongly. Obviously, look, historians can be wrong, whatever. But like, if we're basing off, we gotta base it off something in the end. We gotta base it off some fact. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, we know for sure Jesus is around, mm -hmm. and it's cool that when you have, you know people say, well, there's four different gospels and there's all different things. It's like, oh, cool. We're trying to cover all these different facts. It's almost like. It's cool that there's like there's more people trying to cover the same story, mm -hmm. which actually I think, and all four different writers coming to the same conclusion, mm -hmm. which once again like oh cool like people are studying, and they're finding the same information. You know, obviously there's a chance that they're all just rewriting Mark, but I don't think that's not what it feels like. And mm -hmm. but that's why some of them are so different, you know. And Mark is so like to the point, you know what I mean? And so, mm -hmm. um, so we have, so we know we know we know Jesus around. Mm -hmm. And then through Paul's letters, we know that like he's referencing people that like, hey, so and so existed, so and you know who had seen Jesus, mm -hmm. go talk to so and so. And now we're like, okay, cool. There's some like pretty good facts now. And we and if we know we're, we're given the whole Mark thing that I talk about, like, oh, this is the same letter that we've been reading since the beginning, or at least our earliest version. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been altered by like you know other people mm -hmm. who. Perhaps people saw the early marks. I was like, oh, this is not a good ending. Like, I think they were, if you're just going by what's we can prove for sure, it's like, you know, they come to the, they come to like the stone, like the, the cave, and it's just empty. Mm -hmm. It's kind of actually more of like a cinematic ending of like, mm -hmm. and there's no Jesus, you know, like, oh no, yeah. he's alive. But, right. and so there's definitely some, maybe some people, and I'm not, you know, I'm not a historian, so like, don't quote me, but like, mm -hmm. we need a better ending here, you know, <laughs> and to know that they added like, oh, then Jesus came and blah, 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 you know. Mm -hmm. And whether that was added because the other gospels had fact in it, but it was cool to be a Paul saying, "Look, these guys saw it." So mm -hmm. that becomes like, so there are people then who are saying they saw Jesus come back to life, and there's enough of them that um, there's enough of them that like now, given the fact that we know that was written in there, and that goes back to all of our earliest versions, mm -hmm. we can now trust that like he was there. Are, there were people at least claiming at that time, mm -hmm. so we know Jesus. So we factualize. We know Jesus existed. Mm -hmm. Whether he was doing miracles or not, you're gonna to have to trust the gospels. Mm -hmm. And so, if you're a, like skeptic, mm -hmm. you can't. You know, if you're skeptic, you don't have to trust it. You know, what I mean, if you're a skeptic, you don't have to trust it. You're just saying that well, some of them written about the Bible. But we know Jesus existed. Mm -hmm. And then through Paul's letters, we know people saw him come back. Mm -hmm. And the whole thing is based on whether he came back or not. You know, even if you want to like dismiss everything, if he if Jesus comes back, then he's then he's God. That's the whole thing. If he mm -hmm. if he doesn't come back, then this whole thing doesn't matter. I right. See. So the whole thing is based on whether we can prove he came back. Mm -hmm. And obviously we'll never really fully I can't present like Yeah. Because if we did that then there we you really have no freedom to choose Christianity. Oh. Because you had evidence. If, I mean if Jesus is walking around then you have to begin and Jesus is <laughs> Yeah, Jesus is walking around today. Even then I feel like people could be like I mean you oh, yeah, look like sure. my dad or like you know, you could you look like you could just yeah. like yeah. Like, do some miracles on Instagram, you know? No, no, exactly. I mean, he would be on social media doing it's Instagram. It's like, TikTok, like, okay, like, heal the blind. Let's see. He would heal him, why he would, and people would still be skeptical. You know, and would be like, oh, yeah. this is so CG. Like, I could totally, yeah. like, he, I could tell that he could see, and he's pretending like he's blind, you know? Like, well, and, and that's exactly what the Gospels were like, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. It's like all the, and we'd all be, we'd probably be, like, Christian, right, or whatever. I mean, not to, like, highlight anyone, but it would be like, that's not really Jesus, guys. You yeah. Know what I mean? It'd probably be like the super Christian, you know, you know, half, I don't know what the word, proper word for them is, but like, yeah, like, because he's calling out 
you know, he's calling all the hardcore Pharisees the whole time in the gospel. Mm. And so, like, it probably would have been them, if he came back, they would probably be them, you know, people who were taking advantage of people through, you know, private jet, using the church to fund their private jets or whatever they call it, certain people. But uh -huh. like, mm. they'd probably be not, they probably would I don't know, they would see it. Maybe they're so blind to it, you know? Mm. But I'm not making any kind of official statement on that. I'm just more like, you're right, today would yeah, be an interesting, mm -hmm. more, that's, that's more my creative brain, like, yeah. what would it look like today? I don't really understand, so I'm not yeah, making any judgment for sure. To explore. So after your exploration phase, like, what made you come to peace with, you know, okay, let's say, okay, maybe the Bible is really valid and, mm -hmm. you know, God is real. What made you feel like you should, uh, you need God in your life? Mm -hmm. the Bible oh, I mean, this business was like impossible. Mm -hmm. So I think either you're a Christian when like so much of your life is freelance mm -hmm. and you're just begging God for help and he shows up. I definitely had days where like the money I needed arrives the day of whatever, you know? Wow. And so, and I, and I do, and I do, I do come from like like a family where like I would never really be homeless, whatever. Mm -hmm. But like, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's really, it's hard to explain. Um, I think that book case for Christ does it well. That there's all these people experiencing God. Like uh -huh. the ultimate proof of what like, the case for Christ is all like. Here's all this information that proves Christ right. is real. Right. But the last chapter is like, look at all these people who are experiencing God. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. and I really can't tell someone what that is like. Yeah. Until they're in it. That's true. Until they're like, you know, mm -hmm. praying a lot. Bible something a lot, mm. you know, in, in like in the word a lot. It's like the ultimate proof I cannot bring to you until you know it when you're experiencing it. Mm. You're like, oh, they're yeah, and I because I can give all the facts, whatever. Mm. And like, you know, unless Jesus shows up, you know, even though he people will still disprove it, but like um the freedom is like it has to be kind of a mystery because if it's not, like my, actually my non-Christian friend said it too, like if it's ultimate proof that Jesus exists, then you don't have free will anymore. Mm. You have to choose. Cause like, if there's like, oh, here's the door to hell, you know? Right. Everyone's gonna be Christian tomorrow, you know no. what I mean? Oh, you well, got, hell no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Wow. You know, Jesus bringing up people from hell is not real. But like you bring up people, hell, look, interview this person who's been in hell, he mm. says it's real, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You would have no choice anymore. Yeah. And then also, God know that the, your love for Him wouldn't be real. It would be based purely on like. It would be based purely on like fear of, you know, mm. of like going to hell. You know, mm -hmm. which I know is what a lot of for a lot of people that's their kind of first start. You know, and I will admit that too. Like that's kind of my first thing. Like, oh, I don't want to go to this hell. Like that being taught as a kid. Mm. And so. Wow! Thanks for sharing. No problem. I guess like. Just to end this yeah, impromptu yeah. Yeah. Uh, talk, uh, if God was here right now having our meal together, what's one thing you would tell him? Or, like, yeah. Thank you for everything. Wow. Yeah. That's and uh, yeah, no, thanks for everything. Mm. And can't, thanks for showing up too. That's really cool. Now <laughs> I don't have any doubt. Yeah, I'd be yeah. great if you showed up. Right? Yeah, I have I mean, no doubt. Kind of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's great. <laughs> it's very blast me choking now. <laughs> it's like, oh shit. I'm I am here. Let me I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been here. I've been here. I've been here. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know, you're right. Yeah.